Hey grillers and smokers, thank you for tuning back into Albatross Barbecue. Today I've got myself an awesome looking rack of lamb ribs. These things are going to be awesome. We're going to cook them low and slow, we're going to get the internal temps which are perfect, medium, rare, and we're going to sear it and we're going to enjoy it. Thanks everybody, stay tuned. With lamb I've done plenty of cooks with dry rubs and wet rubs. For me, for some reason, I love wet rubs when it comes to lamb. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And what I've got here is some hand crushed fresh rosemary. And then I've got myself some olive oil as well as some garlic. For my spices, we've got salt and pepper. We've got some granulated honey as well to give a little bit of additional sweetness. And then for the color, we've got some paprika. We've also got some ground turmeric. And then lastly, we've got ourselves some chili. That's gonna give it a little bit of a kick, a little bit of spice. I love it when it comes to lamb, with that extra little bit of spice. So not too much, just enough to get that additional flavor. Mix that well, and you are done with your rub. Now let's turn our attention to the rack of lamb itself. It's got some beautiful marbling, some great color. There's not too much fat, the trim's gonna be minimal. This is a great looking rack for only $20. How you wish to prepare and present your ribs is entirely up to you. For me, I wanted to French these. I think it gives a better appearance. Eating off the bone will just be that much better for me. So that's what I decided to do. Just take away this minimal amount of meat which is in the middle and it will just give me a better finish at the end. If you want to tidy those bones up even more, that's your choice. But for me, that's enough. And what I'm going to do now is just trim away at this tiny bit of fat. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just decided that I wanted to get rid of it and then score both sides of the ribs so I can get my rub into the meat itself. It's now as easy as painting those ribs. So just get your wet rub onto the meat, pat it in, try and get it into where you've scored the meat and make sure that you cover all of it. It's that simple. If you wanna start cooking these straight away, you can. Once you've rubbed all that in, what I like to do though, is just wrap it up and let it sit in the fridge for around five to six hours. Already this is looking and smelling outstanding. Get yourself some Glad Wrap, wrap them up, put them in the fridge for six hours and just let that flavor get throughout that beautiful meat. Six hours later and it's time to cook. As you can see, it just looks like an absolute flavor bomb and the smell was outstanding. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking on my pellet smoker I was going to be doing this originally on my acorn, but in the interest of time, a lot quicker for me to heat this up and get the desired results that I was looking for for this family feed. At 225 degrees Fahrenheit, it's probably gonna take around an hour to cook this beautiful rack of lamb. Now, I did not spray these at all once with any water, any juice, they were already juicy enough as they were. I was looking for around 135 degrees internal temperature, maybe a little bit less around that 130 because I'm gonna be searing it at the end. I was super close to hitting that temperature after an hour, so I just turned them over, checked my temperature again, 130 degrees was close enough for me, 135 was the final target, but I knew I was gonna sear these, as I said, for around 90 seconds each side. I was happy, it's time to put these on the barbecue for a sear. The juices, the oil, the rub, it's really given a beautiful color here. Absolutely tremendous looking ribs ready to be sliced.
Don't they just look a beautiful picture? When I started slicing these, I knew they were gonna be good. The knife was gliding through and sure enough, those first two ribs, it was a perfect medium rare color. Pink, it wasn't burnt, it wasn't overdone, it was still juicy. What an absolutely tremendous result. Anybody who cooks lamb, and especially these lamb ribs, will know that that colour is absolutely perfect. Okay, so here we have our lamb ribs cooked perfectly to medium rare, 135 degrees Fahrenheit internal. Beautiful colour, been seared. Let's give these a go. Just take a look, these beautiful little lamb cutlets. All chopped up, lovely colour, dripping. Let's dig in and give them a go. I'm not gonna lie. Those lamb cutlets, ribs, whatever you want to call them, absolutely bloody tremendous. So tasty, so juicy. Guys, give this a go. Thanks so much for watching. Super easy. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Catch you later. To say I was happy with this cook would be an understatement. The flavour, the chilli, the rosemary, the paprika, everything came out. It was absolutely delicious. Thanks for watching, guys.